Hey, what's good, gamers and Pokemon billionaires? It's your boy, and due to popular demand, I have fixed my door. I know, I got a whole new door. Uh, there's no more hole anymore. This is not asbestos. This is just part of the finish. It's just a very nice new door. Anyway, guys, today we're going to be talking about how the quality control for English product is absolute dog shit, and Pokemon Company International does not give a fuck about quality control. We've known this for a hot minute, but I feel like this is a good time we talk about it, because as of right now, it is more evident than ever uh, looking at the Japanese uh, Scarlet and Violet EX set and comparing it to the Scarlet and Violet English base set. A lot of people are going to tell you, oh, these cards are so great. They're so good quality. I love the Scarlet and Violet base set English. They're so amazing. They're fucking dog shit when you compare them to the Japanese alternative, man. Uh, the people that are telling you that have never opened fucking Japanese product in their life, nor have they ever seen a secret rare, a secret art rare, an alternative art, a full art, a rainbow, anything of the Japanese quality uh, comparative to the English alternative. They, they just fucking have it. And if they tell you there's no difference or the difference is very minimal, they're lying out their fucking ass. And I can tell you that firsthand because I've opened fucking tons of both and I stand by it wholeheartedly. Heartedly, Japanese quality control is fucking immaculate in comparison to English. And it's not because Japanese quality control is fucking perfect. Like, no, they have issues with centering sometimes. They have issues with this and that. But it's just English is so bad that anything looks fucking good in comparison. And I'm going to show you some examples of this. I saw this thing on uh, Instagram today. I'm probably going to pull it up like right. I'll pull it up right here in front of Pikachu. This fucking asshole. Um. So it's right here, right? And it's going to show you the difference between quality of the English EXs versus the Japanese EXs. Now, I'm no fucking mathematician. I'm no wizard. I'm no scientist. But I'm a guy with eyeballs. And I could tell you from first glance that the English looks like absolute fucking dog shit. And it was, it was evident even when they released those Q boxes that had like silver tempest and shit in them um the Q ex boxes they had for english it was very evident in the Q promo that that looked like absolute fucking dog shit in comparison to the japanese ex's and i hoped maybe that was just an, a one-off thing and that wasn't going to be the case for the english product the new era something you should be really hyping up and getting behind and fucking making sure it's the best quality possible so you can get people excited about a new era of pokemon but instead they were like bitch silver borders equals cheaper um also make the cards worst fucking quality you possibly can now clearly i'm speaking from somebody who has the and i'm uh, this is the only thing i will say i'm speaking from the perspective of somebody who is seeing other people speak on this topic pretty reputable people and even people that don't like to get involved with controversy people that just don't like drama they're speaking on it as well um and I'll be honest, man. I'll be honest. I have not opened Scarlet and Violet English base set product yet. But when I do, I'm going to confirm all of these suspicions, all of these things I'm seeing, and I want to validate it. Because right now, everything's working out how I thought it more or less would. Um, but I can't confirm it 100 fucking percent yet from my own personal experience. However, from everybody else's external experience... It seems like there's one too many chickens that are fucking clucking in the in, in the fucking hen box or some shit. I don't know analogies. Um, there's one too many people that are saying this is the case and this is not good that it's kind of hard to ignore it. It's not like it's a one-off thing. For instance, everybody's been saying how those new Crown Zenith Galarian bird tins are fucking dog shit. But then there's a lot of people that are getting really good hits from them. And I at first, I, I've only opened one. I got it from my girlfriend's niece and it was dog shit. And I was like, wow. That's the worst I've ever seen from Crown Zenith before, but hey, maybe it happens. Then I saw a lot of other people talking shit on it, and I was like, hmm, maybe it's maybe this print is just really bad. And then I saw another a couple other videos of people doing it where they actually did get good stuff. And I'm like, all right, maybe a lot of us just had one-off boxes and were complaining and bitching. The whole consensus wasn't enough to validate this product is shit. However, almost everybody I'm seeing talk about the comparison between Japanese and English quality is on the same page that English fucking sucks in comparison to Japanese. And it's turning a lot of people away from the uh, the English market, which, hey, I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm not an English collector primarily. I, I really don't. I only open it for people that want it on my stream. I'm not huge on English. Vintage English, love. Modern English, I could give a fuck about. However, 
this isn't that good because somebody commented on this in, in the comments of yesterday's video. They said you can't compare the Japanese and English market. And they said they're two completely different beasts. And in one essence, I'm like, okay, I understand where you're coming from. But in another essence, you're completely fucking wrong. And here's why. You can compare two different markets because of the effect one will have on another. So you cannot compare the markets for face value. You can't say that, oh, because the Maridon is three, 400 in, in Japanese, it's going to be that much in English. No, you can't compare that. It's incomparable. However, you can compare the markets or at least speak on how the markets do affect one another directly due to things happening in them, right? So you can compare them. You can say due to the English card uh, for this being terrible quality control, but it's a big hitter card, a big chase card here, you can assume that the Japanese one that it has amazing quality control, it's probably going to be a pretty fucking expensive card over there in comparison to where it is here. Uh, you can find small comparisons in any fucking market. You can compare them. It's just the point I was making was not direct comparison. It was more so that there's going to be like a domino effect. And I'm already seeing it. I've, I've seen it a bunch. A, a lot of comments lately have been talking about how, guess what, man? English quality control is shit. I'm sticking to Japanese. I'm going to Japanese. I'm not touching English product. Lots of people in my own community, because I'm I, I'm not a huge voice in this community, but whenever I go live, whenever I open product, I do voice how I really like Japanese product due to the quality control in comparison to English. Um, perfect English cards are immaculate. They're amazing. They're beautiful. They're great. I'd highly suggest collecting some. They're so good. However, the, the, the amount of them that are available is finite. Uh, whereas with Japanese, it's not as finite. It's more common that you're getting these PSA 10 level cards, these black label level cards, you're getting them more often than not in comparison to English. Um, and then when you open a pack of Japanese product, you know if you're getting that Seeker Rare, it's probably going to be PSA 10 worthy versus the English product is a fucking gamble the entire way through. And people are noticing that. They're noticing that, hey, the EX cards for Scarlet and Violet Base in comparison to the EX cards from Scarlet and Violet EX look like shit. They're seeing the Miriam SAR from English and comparing it to the Miriam SAR from Japanese and saying, holy shit, why is it so much worse? Why is the texture different? Why does it shine different? Why, why is this card look fucking dull in comparison to the Japanese alternative? And I'm going to do a little comparison with you. I feel like I've done this in another video, but I might not have. It might have been on a stream. I'm going to grab two cards for you to, to prove a point real quick. I'm going to grab the Umbreon VMAX alternative art from the English uh, Sword and Shield Evolving Sky set, the chase card of the generation. And I'm going to grab you an EV Heroes Umbreon VMAX alternative art the chase card of EV heroes. I'm going to grab both of them. I'm going to show them to you real quick right now. You're going to see me get up and waddle over there and grab them. And then I'm going to show you so you can see firsthand the fucking difference. It is not a small difference. And I'm telling you, it's not something where people can just be like, oh, it's just no fucking different. It's pretty big. It, the quality control is very evident that it is down the fucking shitter with English product. And you might think maybe it's not a big difference, but when you seriously collect and are looking at cards and see the differences from this, 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 and this, it, it's a difference. So let me show you. Maybe I'm being a pretentious little fuck. Maybe. But when the EXs from Japanese in comparison to English look just much more flashier, brighter in your face, you can see all the detail. And then in English, they look dull as shit and you can barely see anything. It does bring up that cause for concern. So let me show you real quick, all right? You can hear me talking. All right, here's the, the Moonbryon from English and here's the Moonbryon from Japanese. All right, let's take a look at the English one to give you an idea of what we're starting with here. So here's the English Moonbrion, right? I need to send this fucker in for grading, uh, but I'm waiting until I can do a, a nice bulk lot of cards that I really, really enjoy. And I think we're going to be in that same, you know, criteria of price. Anyway, here's the English Moonbrion. This is how it looks. You see, it's a pretty card. It, it's nice. For English standards, this is a nice card, right? But you can see how it's just a very kind of dull shine it's not like up in your face it's not obnoxious um but it's just kind of it's kind of there it's just you get the art for what it is it's a nice card there you go right <laughs> now let me let me let me blow your fucking mind real quick this is the uh this is the japanese equivalent 
of, of this card, right? Your $500 Moonbrion versus your whatever, 1000 2000 whatever the fuck this card is worth now. Um, this is the Umbreon VMAX alternative art from Eevee Heroes, right? Let me show you the difference in this. It's it's And you can rewind it back so you can see the difference firsthand. But look at it. This is a big fucking difference. It's not it's not small. Do you see how fucking different the shine is? Do you see how the eye has all the fucking shine in it? Do you see now how the quality control of English product is in fact down the shitter in comparison to Japanese? It's just it's not the fucking same. And it's it's disappointing because when you can see it in the top chase cards of Sword and Shield that's a pr when you can see it in these top chase cards the least you could have done for the chase cards of, of the english set is make them top quality instead you leave everything to just flush down the shitter everything is fucking less and that sucks man because here's what's going to happen due to that and i spoke about it a little bit yesterday the result of this is going to be people are going to abandon English product, call Sword and Shield base set a fucking failure, and then they're going to run over to Japanese product, and what's going to happen is, when people buy Japanese product, you're going to see that boxes that are already fucking ridiculous due to this hype demand, uh, due to so many factors of just Japanese individuals, they can't even get boxes for the normal price because of backdoor sellers, the 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 cost that these people want to sell these boxes for they're going to sell them at that price they're going to sell them out at that price and it's going to keep these boxes at a super ridiculously high price and it's more or less just going to fuck over everybody that wants to get a box at a normal price which sucks it does suck and i know some of you guys like i don't fucking care i don't like the japanese market i don't give a shit about it you do realize this is going to have an effect on the entire market there are sectors of a market but if one thing affects something here, it has an adverse effect here. And we don't know what that adverse effect is yet. Sure, we can say if the quality control is so shit as Scarlet and Violet, people move over to Japanese product more so, um, and they're playing ridi paying ridiculous prices. Dude, who gives a fuck? That's on them. Maybe English card single, like English single prices will get ridiculously inexpensive for Scarlet and Violet. If that's the case, I don't know, not a financial advisor, maybe a great time to pick some up because there's still going to be a nostalgia factor to a lot of people long term. Maybe it's a good investment. I don't fucking know. However, it might have a negative effect in some way that we just don't know yet. Right? We don't know. My point is English quality control down the fucking shitter very evident with scarlet and violet base set and if you couldn't see it with at least the v cards in sword and shield which it wasn't as evident you can fucking see it with the ex's and scarlet and violet base it's super fucking obvious um i don't think anybody can really defend pokemon company international in the quality control department um i think it's a big game of money and they want fucking money you know what i mean uh, i get it it's a business it's how it's run but it sucks man it sucks Either way, hope y'all enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. Do you guys believe that quality control is a big issue with English product? Do you do think it's it's not a big fucking deal? I don't know. It's up to you guys. It's uh, this is just voice in my opinion online. If you agree with it, cool. If you don't, cool. I don't I don't care. Uh, I'll talk to you guys, and uh, hopefully you like my new fucking door. All right. Have a good one, everybody. Enjoy your uh, enjoy. What's today? Enjoy your. Uh, enjoy your tuesday night okay again those goblins they're out there on the streets looking for gold be careful they might take it from you